हेलो फ्रेंड्स दिस वीडियो ऑन कोऑर्डिनेट ज्योमेट्री पार्ट 16 इज ब्रॉट यू बाय एग्जाम फियर डॉट कॉम नो मोर फियर फ्रॉम एग्जाम बिफोर वाचिंग दिस वीडियो प्लीज मेक श्योर दैट यू हैव वॉच पार्ट वन टू पार्ट फिफ्टीन लेट्स क्वेश्चन द थ्री बर्टिस ऑफ द पैराग्राम आर माइनस वन जीरो थ्री वन टू टू इट फाइंड द फोर्थ बर्टिस दिस इज अ पैराग्राम नॉट ड्रॉन दैट क्रेट दिस इज पैराग्राम ए बी सी डी एज्यूम इट सेज दैट It is minus one zero three one two two, and this is let's suppose x y. D is x y. We have to find the value of x y. We know that the midpoint of the parallelograms, midpoint of A C and B D coincide. Now what we can do? We'll find the midpoint of A C. We can find it. So I'll say that this. Let's say midpoint of A C. That is nothing but. Two plus minus one by two, comma two plus zero by two. That is one by two and one. That's the midpoint of A C. Similarly, midpoint of B D. Midpoint of B D. That is nothing but three plus x by two and one plus y by two. And the question says both should coincide. That means they are same. That means three plus x by two is equal to one by two, or x is equal to how much? Minus two. And the second is one is equal to one plus y by two. You solve this, you get y is equal to one. So you got x and y. So x and y is nothing but minus two comma. Very easy way to solve the question. So in parallelogram, the midpoint of the diagonals always meet at one point. So we have used this logic to solve the question. Find the length of the medians of the triangles whose vertices are seven minus three, five, three, three minus one. This is a good question actually. I'll tell you how to solve this. Let's suppose this is a triangle ABC, and we have to find the length of the medians. This is one median. This is another. And this suppose this. They all meet at this point. Now, if you see the points are given, seven minus three, five three, and three minus one. Correct. Now, to find the value of median, we define this value. Let's suppose this is D, this is E, and this is F. So D is what? D is midpoint of BC. To find d, d is nothing but this is three, this is minus one. So x will be five plus three by two, five plus three by two, that is eight by two, that is four, and y will be three minus one by two, that is three minus one is two by two, that is one. So we got this point d. So we will get the point e. Seven plus three, ten by two, five. Minus three minus one minus four by two, that is minus two. We got this point. Similarly, f five plus seven twelve by two six three and minus three by two three plus minus three is zero by two six. So we have got these values. Now we have to find the value of ad, b, and cf. Very simple. We just use the formula, distance formula. I'll do for one. Ad is nothing but root of seven minus four seven minus four square plus minus three minus one minus three minus one square. Correct. It is nothing but root of three square is nine plus minus one minus three uh, minus three minus one is minus four minus four square is sixteen. That is root twenty five and that is five. So A D is five. One median is five. Similarly, you can find B. Okay, let me do this. B is nothing but root of five minus five square five minus five square plus three minus minus two square. So this becomes root of zero square plus five square is twenty five, and that is nothing but five. Similarly, CF will find the other median that will be nothing but uh, root of six minus three square plus zero minus minus one square. That is nothing but six uh, minus three is three, three square is nine plus minus one square is one, and the root. So we have got all these three medians, and that is my answer. Very simple. You found the midpoints, and then you found the.
we have to prove that the midpoint of the hypotenuse of a right triangle is equidistant from it. So this is my right triangle. Let me draw a right triangle first. It's not straight, but you can assume they are straight. This is my right triangle. A, B, C. Let's suppose D is a midpoint. So I have to prove that DA is equal to DC is equal to DB. That we have to prove. So let's assume B is origin because I have to prove this. So let me assume B is origin. And let suppose this is the distance A. So C becomes A comma 0. And let me suppose this is distance B. So A becomes 0 comma B. Right? Any issue in this point? If I assume this is origin B, C becomes A comma 0 and A becomes 0 comma B because this is distance length B and this is length. Now this D, D will be midpoint of A and C. So D will be nothing but 0 comma, right? D of X will be nothing but, or D will be nothing but 0 comma A by 2 comma B comma, comma 0 by 2. That is A by 2 comma B by 2. This will be the value of point D. Now let's find D O. We have to prove that D O, sorry, D A is equal to D B is equal to D C. That's what it is group. So let's find DA. DA is nothing but root of A by 2 minus 0 plus B by 2 minus B square. That is 1 by 2 root A square plus B square. Let's find DC. DC is also nothing but A by 2 minus A square plus b by 2 minus 0 square this time because this is 0 here this becomes nothing but 1 by 2 root a square plus b square from mid to common similarly db we have to find db is nothing but root of a by 2 square plus b by 2 square because a by 2 minus 0 is a by 2 only so it's nothing but 1 by 2 root a square plus b square and if you see all the values are same that means we can say that DA is equal to DC is equal to DB. That is point D is equidistant from A, B and C. Correct? D is equal to A, B and C. DA, DB, DC. Thank you. Visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos, try free online tests, get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors and much more. Thanks once again.